Welcome to the shop everyone. I want to share some ideas on how I went about making a steady rest for a lathe I have in the shop. Here I'm sort of sketching out uh, a rough draft of what it ended up looking like. I had seen online where a lot of people had used square tubing and put it in like a hex shape for the framework of the steady rest and so I felt like that ended up being about the best way to go about it with the materials I had at the shop. And uh, after making it, uh, it has really turned out to be a good piece. It works really, really well. So I kind of want to share some of the ideas I had when I made mine. Here I'm using one and a half inch wide square tubing with one eight wall thickness. Uh, this is the steel I used for the bed for the clamping mechanism that'll go on the bed of the lathe. I just machined it out of some mild steel. Uh, those are the fingers that I machined for it. I think it was A2 steel that I used for the fingers. Uh, here's after I machined out the clamping part that slides back and forth on the bed. It worked out really, really well. For the steady rest fingers, I ended up using uh, one inch cam followers that will be machined to the ends of the fingers. Here's the cam followers installed on the end of the fingers and also the threaded rod I'll be using to run it in and out on the piece. Here to fasten the threaded rod to the fingers themselves, I ended up getting two nuts, the same pitch thread as what the threaded rod was, drilled holes in them where I could pin it, and then put a harder washer on each side of that flange, and also where the flange bolts to the finger itself, I went ahead and drilled and pinned that too. Made it for a very secure, works very good. I secured the cam followers to the fingers using a shoulder bolt. Here's after it's finished and installed on the lathe. Uh, clamps down really tight, loosens up, slides back and forth really super nice. I did end up welding some tabs onto the bolts that clamp the top part onto the steady rest because hand tight seems to be good enough. And also for the lockdowns, I put some brass tips on the end so it doesn't mar up the fingers when you lock it in place once you get it on the piece that you're going to be turning. Here I am setting a piece into the lathe, uh, tightening the chuck down. Uh, I also decided not to put a hinge on the back side. You see a lot of these steady rests where they hinge over and back. It hit the back of my like chip chip tray and so I, I left it off, just made where the whole top comes off. Screw it down, tighten it up, uh, adjust the fingers to push down on the piece. Uh, here I am locking them in place. And it just runs real smooth and nice in the lathe. Here I'm going to make a cut on the piece of steel. Probably the only drawback of having the cam followers instead of some kind of a brass slider is you got to watch the chips a little bit. Chip can jump in there and run underneath one of those wheels, but. Uh, the reason I went with the cam followers is because of the rough surfaces and stuff that uh, sometimes I cut. So the rollers just seem to work out better for me anyways. So that's the finished piece. Works good. They slide in and out. Uh, very repeatable. Works really nice. Uh, hope this gives you guys some ideas. Hit me with a like. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next project. Thanks so much.